In this first Descendant video, I showcase to you an insane farm for some of the hardest to come by materials in the game. But it is a little bit risky, there may be a chance you will be punished for this. I do, as you know, like to get straight to the point and warn players, but it's definitely a tricky one to judge. It's an amazing farm, but let me explain. Firstly, how's it going guys? My name is DPJ and before we go any further, I am giving away Ultimate Descendants. To be with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I've given away three already because my giveaways, unlike some, are actually legit. Now, I'll pick one winner on a weekly basis. Uh, so the more I see you active, the more of a chance you have of winning and I will announce them at the end of the week. So good luck everybody. Also, join my Discord link down below. I'm trying to build an amazing First Descendant community. Okay, so there are a couple of farms that I've seen that I feel might cross the line in regards to players being punished for such. We know next and don't take things lightly, but do these farms count as exploiting? I ain't sure. What I do know is reading from the patch notes from a couple updates back, they said this, Please know that taking advantage of system errors or specific actions to gain higher benefits than intended will be considered abnormal gameplay behaviour. But in what regard, they gave zero context on. What do they mean by this? We ain't sure. This one I showcased today was found after they said this, uh, but could fall in line with what they mean here. So again, please be careful. Okay, so this newly found farm. So within four regions are fusion reactors. Yes, we know these fusion reactors are in every region, but there's a certain four you can farm. There's probably a couple more actually. But these void fusion reactors, these require certain materials to start up and farm. But there's a way in which you can farm specific materials from these void fusion reactors without taking your materials to start it. But it does get better. So there are specific versions of these missions which are much much easier to do this with. For me there are certain ones that don't work with at all as well. The ones you want to be farming are the ones that spawn in those elite enemies, not the ones that spawn in those mini bosses with those multiple health bars. But the ones that spawn in those multiple elites, these work perfectly fine for this. For instance, this one here in Hagius spawns in three elites. So if we start this up, take out two of the three elites and then abort the mission, they drop that specialized biometal. You can then start this again, take the two out, grab the mats, abort, restart, farm over and over. As long as you don't kill all enemies or use that reconstructed device, it won't take your materials to start it, the materials required to start it. So if you have said materials to start this, you can do this over and over and over. Now if you are quick, you can take at all elites and the bot, but it takes really good timing. In my opinion, it's better just to farm the two than the bot when we start. Now from what I found, I found four regions which have these void fusion missions where this can be taken advantage of to farm these materials. Now within Hagias, the material is the specialized biometal and the best place to farm this is right here in that dune base area. Sterile lands within the repository area, you can get here fusion plasma batteries. Within the storage area of Agna Desert, you can get the synthesized biometal.
and within the mountain tops area within White Knight, go and get crystal. Bye, old chow. Now there might be more people, but these are what I found so far. If you know of any others, let us know down below. Okay, so the real cool threat to why Nexon put out that statement, in my opinion, is the new also popular fast XP farm. I covered this the other day, but using the same method uh, we do here, basically with aborting the mission, allows players to pick up around 11k every 6 or 7 seconds, which can equate to over 6 million XP per hour. So this is done within the Moonlight Lake area of Vespers and with this Void Fragment mission right here which requires a descendant with the non-attribute skills to start it. If you come here in a team of two, one can start it and the other one can stand on the point in which the enemy spawn in, there's 55 here in total. Uh, I did this with my pal, he was using Valby to start it while I was on Bunny and I took out the 55 enemies in an instant. Uh, we were doing this in around 6 or 7 seconds but what you do is he starts it, you take out all the enemies, you both then abort the mission as soon as possible, restart it straight away and repeat this process. It gives you around 11k XP per run for both your descendant and your weapon and can be done in 6 seconds flat easy, it's utterly wild. Over an hour, if you're doing it in 6 seconds, it's around 6 6.6 million XP off the top of my head I believe I could be wrong uh, let me know down below but yeah it's absolutely wild and I actually thought and said on multiple occasions this is the reason Nexon put out that statement about taking advantage of certain things to gain this seems to fall in line with that but no further details have been given whatsoever in what they mean here but all we know is now there's this new farm you can do with these void fusion reactors farm those certain materials uh, like I said use it at your own risk but farming both of these practices could get you in trouble so again guys be careful out there on that note the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one